Hey, what's up, everybody? My camshaft come in today when I got off of work, so we're going to open it up. Take a peek -see at it, and then I want to uh, just double check the the markings on the rear the rear cam journal, and it's got and I'm not being funny wearing gloves. There's been some that ask why I wear gloves. I just don't want any oils on this. Uh, Cam shaft. Cam and lifters rear slot for early 2 8. Okay, so it says to keep this if I have any. Um, Please do not throw away the master shipping carton before inspecting hydraulic and solid cams. UPS will deny any broken cam claim without this carton. So they must be talking about this. So see how I guess we'll just start cutting. Um, might be trying to open this upside down. It's not necessarily user friendly let's uh, flip it don't want to scratch that brand new paint job okay all right boom there it is hope you guys are seeing a good um, shot of that so this must be the box that they was referencing to, to not destroy. And you see it's the Mega Cam. They have a few different uh, series, but Inskadarian Cam and Lifter Kit, short for Insky. Okay, here we go. All right, what's this? Extreme pressure engine assembly lube. All right. Let me, and here's all the lifters. There's no real reason to get them out. I mean, I might as well, I got gloves on. Yeah, there's one brand new hydraulic lifter. See, so now I can drop all this off and go up there and check out the engine itself as well. See, and this this tells all the information about the uh, the actual cam. Valve lift four four fifty duration two sixty four two fourteen at fifty thousandth duration and one oh eight lobe separation. So now this this particular stuff I don't want to get on the primer because it'll soak in. But they got it lathered up and some form of gear oil. Okay. So let's 
See, and this is one of the few companies, you, you wouldn't believe it, but this is one of the few companies that actually hardens its camshaft. A lot of the manufacturers nowadays, they don't harden, they don't put it through the, the treatment process to harden their camshaft. And uh, you have a lot of cam failure because of that. It's got real nice ramps on the on the camshaft. But see, this is what they machined. I don't know if you could see that. That's what they machined into the back of it. And all that does is give you a, a pulse, pulsated oil to your lifters. The 55 Chevys are, they're totally weird and unique like that. So, here's my old camshaft and you can see that it's got the the notch in it but what I wanted to do was look at the front and see where the pin is for the timing chain okay and then I wanted to make sure that that was in the same location And it appears as if it is. You see the two dots right there? And this this one isn't nearly as deep as that. So I might I may have to call them. But you can see the one is way deeper than the other one. Which I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not, but it's definitely something I want to investigate but from everything I can see it is uh, it's where it needs to be to create an oil flow for it so that's all good that's checking out real good but yeah this one this is the original one and you could see the more shininess as it gets to the ramp, it's wearing through the the original heat treatment that GM put on them. And it actually begins to the point where it starts to uh, flatten that cam lobe. And you can see this one right here. This, this lobe isn't nearly as defined as that one is. So it was starting to have camshaft failure, among other things. So, I just figured I would bring you guys along because it's kind of a little bit exciting to see this new stuff come in. And uh, now I can drop this off and my heads off and start putting together a long block, which will be really exciting. I still got to get valve springs. Um, is in valve springs. A few of them's. The retainers have actually walked off of them. So, um, a few of them valve springs was shot anyways, but whenever you change the lift to your camshaft, as dramatic as this one increased over a stock valve spring, you definitely want to get a match set of valve springs for it. So everything's looking good. I just want to double check to make sure that it doesn't have to, that rear journal slot doesn't have to be as deep. It's probably about half as deep as the original one. Uh, but we'll double check that and maybe even Bob knows, you know, maybe he even knows if it, if it's going to make a difference. Cause as far as I know, that just, that notch in the back cam journal just uh, lets the oil pulsate from the rear cam bearing into your rear lifters. So I'll show you the valve springs on the heads and then I'll let you guys get back to your evening. I just thought it was cool. And Oops. Yeah, see there's the part number of it. Cam and lifter kit. 
I want to think it come from Gardena, California, Gardena, California. But these, I mean, these are just filthy as a pig inside, so they're going to have to be hot tanked. But you can see how this spring right here, see how it's more shiny than the rest? Because the retainer has come apart on it. And the retainer has come apart on that one as well. But we'll replace all them. We're going to try to work these heads over, you know, decent. Try to clean up them them intake runners a little bit. And uh, I, I have to ask him where the push rods go through there. Them look pretty opened up. But I don't know on a newer small block like a camel hump head if these holes right here was even more uh, oblong. So more questions and more more questions that need answers. Well, there's the camshaft, guys. It, it's arrived. So now we got should have everything uh, for my short block now that the cam has come. And uh, we'll get the heads done. And then I'll basically be able to bring the motor back and, you know, fit the intake oil pan, water pump starter, build a complete engine on a, on a, on that engine stand over there and, uh, get ready to drop it in. And this, this engine right here, I've, I finally got it to free up a little bit, but it will not, it will not rotate all the way around. It'll go maybe about a half a turn and then it starts freezing up and you got to back it up and take it the other side. Well, anyways, that's all I was doing out here today, guys. Got excited when the camshaft come in. So now we know I just got to ask about that, that rear, uh, slot where it's been, you know, cut for the, uh, rear main, uh, rear, uh, cam bearing, uh, journal. I just want to make sure that it, the other, the original one was pretty deep and that one's deep, but not quite as deep. I just want to make sure that it's good to go. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next video.